Mr. Blake, in terms of proactiveness, mm. how would you rate the ACC? <laughs> You see, I don't, I don't get any constraint any time mm. somebody asks me for rate ACC. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I rate ACC, I can prefer let another person we... No, just get there is a follow-up question. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> cap. Oh, no, I, want, I want to make this. Mm -hmm. uh, because let, let somebody not feel see, I go come see anything one not going to substantiate. Okay. The Anti-Corruption Commission don't disposition itself as an institution we able to lead Mm. Sierra Leone in fight against corruption mm. in all shape and form and in all spheres. Okay. Under rain, under sun, inside water, Antarctic, now road, wherever we've proven mm. over the period that we can. And so that requires us to be both reactive and proactive. Okay. Why we can be reactive? Because we don't call on UNA, the public, the media, the civil society for help with earth corruption. So on the point of reactive, before you come to proactive, um, the, the, the reason for this question is because um, not on how people don't begin to raise the flag, especially when it comes to parliament. Some time back, Honorable Tawa Conte, um, when I'm a member of parliament from the ruling Sierra Leone People's Party, there is an alarm that there is corruption in parliament. Of course, an investigation was done then and, 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 and the findings become out. But aside than in recent times, other people them don't raise this alarm. The issue with um, um, the laying off of over hundreds of the, years of the parliament staff them, not until they start. So one go one for say, why it take the ACC so long? I mean, this person don't receive salary for over 10 months. So you you got to realize the ACC not in every office, mm. and not to ACC. Let's have an established fact that not to ACC they commit corruption. When mm -hmm. well, ACC is one civil prevent them, and they want them we prevent them, mm -hmm. and then take action for hold perpetrators accountable. Mm -hmm. And law begin with prevention. You cleverly put them for the first time, and for one of the few parliaments across the world to be subjected to a holistic probe. We're not left out mm. ruling parties, independent uh, mm. candidates, and, and opposition MPs. Now, Sarah Lee, it don't happen. A holistic probe. And what's going to be the outcome of that probe? We all we can read paper and understand. Mm -hmm. It was never, never a sandwich probe where they come for, for approbate parliament and give them a, a tap at them back. See, there, there is nothing wrong there. That probe was clearly pointing at malfeasances, and we tell the public, say, we they work with parliament for preventing. What were the issues in that probe? Constituency Development Fund was largely unaccounted for. There was no established structure then mm. how for retire after receiving those. The monies they received for rent or build constituency offices was not properly accounted for. We go even beyond what in then talking at the media and find out, say, even sitting fees, some people, they take them, but they know they sign. Mm. And we ask them people, they are, oh, yes, I take them, but I've been urgent, I they go here, mm. I they go there. And that points to attention to a systemic problem because all, it was all over the place. Let me talk opposition, independent, and ruling party MPs. We, they all know you can go behind me and ask them how extensive the mm. probe was. And working with the leadership of parliament, mm -hmm. exemplarily, I, 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 on the records, we can check how many African countries don't ever probe half, half, half mm. parliament, let alone mm. whole parliament, mm. or even one MP. In some countries, you know, they try and say, mm. we did it here successfully, and we put systems in place today. Mm. If even corruption issues, they come up from parliament, mm. not to around 